Preparing a get-together is best when you arrange various stations throughout your kitchen or your environment. The stations allow you to stay organized and allow for a self-sufficient occasion that your guests can serve themselves and you can relax a little bit more and enjoy your together time. Over here is what I've created, a beverage station. I have the tea coffee maker and also juice, wine, ice water. I have it all here together so whatever they need or want is accessible. And first of all, I'll start out by making a single cup of tea. And that's what I really enjoy about this particular coffee maker. I just put the tea bag in there, slide it in. When I'm making my one cup of tea or multiple cups of tea, I always begin by measuring using the cup that I'm going to use and filling it with water. So it gives me a kind of precise cup of tea or coffee. And then I just pour it right in there. And then I switch it over to one. I put the cup there. And within just a few minutes, we'll have a nice cup of tea. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare for making two cups of coffee because I know that my guest likes coffee and so do I. So we'll need two cups. So I first begin, it has a little thing here where I can put in a, a coffee filter. And I keep those right there. And I'm going to make some decaf coffee. For two cups of coffee, all I need is one heaping. You see how it's heaping over the spoon? And that's all I need for two cups. And it makes a pretty strong, real tasty cup of coffee. And so the cups that I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to put, it'll go, all go into this decanter. And I know that I'm going to use this coffee mug. So again, I'm going to fill this coffee mug up with water. It gives me the precise measurements that I need so I, I don't make too much or too little coffee. I pour it right in there. And I'm going to make two cups so I do the same thing again with the water. And again I pour it right in. And so the decanter will catch the coffee as it comes out. In the meantime, while I'm waiting for this one cup to finish, as you see, it's filling up that cup. Everybody tends to like to munch on chocolates. And nowadays they say that dark chocolate has some kind of health benefits. So I have some German chocolate that my husband bought back from his trip to Germany. And I'm just going to break up a few pieces here in this, in this container that I have. Very nice looking package it is. I'll just break some of this up. And if, if we want to, we can dissolve or melt a piece or two of this chocolate inside the cup of coffee that we're going to have. And it will add to the flavor and be very delicious. So I'm going to use these cups also. In order to have a little bit of citrus to add to my tea, I'm going to cut open a lime. And lime, mmm, I just enjoy that smell so much. And what I would like to do is use a strainer to, um, capture the juice in case there's a seed or something in there and I'll use this little ramekin well I was able to get just a little bit of juice out of that line the tea is complete and it's green tea 
and I do enjoy a little bit of lime in the green tea so I put that in there and I tend to use stevia which is an organic sweetening product and I'll put some of that in the tea to give me some of the sweetness that I enjoy and I'll give it a little stir and then I'm just going to taste it. I'll smell it. That's good, just like I like it. <laughs> it's nothing like a good cup of tea. So now that I have the, co I've switched over sides on the coffee maker here. I switched it to the side so that the coffee can begin to percolate. And very soon we'll have two cups of delicious coffee. In the meantime, my guests may enjoy a cup of cranberry juice. I have the cups already prepared. So I'll just pour both of us a refreshing glass of cranberry juice. And look how beautiful that is. And let's just give it a taste. Mmm. That is so refreshing. Something so simple can be so good. Now, I want to put some non-dairy creamer into a bowl that makes it a little bit easier for my guests to add some cream to their coffee. So I'll put that in there and so when the coffee is ready all that's needed is to pour it into the cups, add some cream, maybe some more sugar and then you can melt some of this delicious chocolate from Germany and have a satisfying beverage. Everybody enjoys wine these days I hear. I don't drink anything but sweet wine. And let me show you what I mean. I enjoy this particular bottle of wine. It's called Moscata Diasti. And the Diasti means that it is a sparkling wine. And I love that crisp sparkling of wine. And it's the Moscata, it's made from grapes. And I enjoy that sweetness and the sparkle together. And I can drink it with any type of meat or vegetables. It doesn't matter. It's one of my favorites. So this corkscrew I'm using works great for removing the cork. And there you have it. A bottle of wine. For the two of us, I have these wine glasses. And I'll pour some. This wine is good for any celebration or for drinking any time of the day or night. And so since I over poured on this one a little, I think I'll drink some of this myself. Mmm. Mm. A delicious glass of wine. And the hint of that chocolate that I just ate with it, it just gives more flavor on my tongue. I hope you enjoy this at your next gathering. Next, I want to talk about how great it is to have a tall glass of water. Putting ice into a glass. As you can tell, this is a big, big, tall glass. 
I like to fill it halfway with water, I mean with ice, and then fill the remainder with the water. I've already got the straws in there. I can share it with my partner. I'll drink from the green straw. And I'll save the red one for him. Water is great for digestion and should be a part of every meal. And sharing it with someone in a one glass, it's kind of romantic. The coffee looks like it's ready. So I'm just going to make a cup and show you how delicious it can be. I'm going to pour the coffee into the mug. I'm going to add some of the nice flavored cream. And as usual, I like to add some of the stevia from the packet. It has no calories and it's like an indulgence for me that I can splurge every day or throughout the day for a wonderful cup of coffee. I love the look of the cream. And I think I'm going to drop a piece of chocolate down there and let it dissolve. So maybe by when I get closer to the bottom that chocolate will be melting and it'll be just like syrup. Very silky. So now I think I'm ready to take a sip. Mm. That is so satisfying and comforting. I tell you, this is a great get together. I'm having fun already.